Morning, morning, world. Morning. It's raining. Now what? Well, it's springtime. All right. Let's go. Sleep all right last night? Yesterday I would not have been able to do this at all because the water was so high. It would have been like up to my chest. It would have fallen over. I'm here to check on the other hot springs. So we have like a little Twento here. Wow, a lot of water this year. That's really good. So later this will be a Palatong. It's really weird to have a typhoon come down for the first time ever. I got to be careful when I'm walking here because I, I can feel that the mud is really hot. I'm not wearing shoes. I don't want to burn my feet. Ow, 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 ow. I found the hot area. So nice. It's like hot mud. It's hot. It's so good. Hey, Jill, you're Oh, Titan, Titan. Maybe here also has a hot spring. It's like warm and comfortable. It's like a nice temperature for 10 in the morning, but at night it wouldn't be enough. Check out the hot spring. Why aren't you wearing shoes? Why are you not wearing shoes either? Oh, crap. Yeah, they could like walk in the mud there. Feels like quicksand, yeah? Yeah. It's cool, huh? It's super hot in that corner. Be careful. How's it taste? I don't know, it tastes like salt. And then you have another one. I'm really glad the water went down today because this would have been just totally impossible yesterday. Oh yeah, right here. Wow, there's so much water coming out. There's a lot, lot, lot coming out here. But it's not hot enough. All right, all right. You don't try this one. Ah, mother What did he do? It's really hard to wash off here because I can't wash off in this river. It's too muddy. I don't want to go in the hot spring, but then I'll get the hot spring muddy. So now I'm not exactly sure what to do. Ah, yeah, that's nice. All right, Ray, you're not all bad. How was it? Hot yeah. spring in the morning. Yeah, what a way to wake up. One really cool thing about the Hongye Wenchuan here, it's the only hot spring outside of Yangmingshan that is this uh, sulfur yeah. hot spring. All the other ones in, in Taiwan, uh, I believe, are soda carbonate. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I remember reading that somewhere. So up there at the Red Bridge, there's a whole bunch of hot springs, and then down river of the Red Bridge, this is where, you know, we like to come. There's also a bunch of outcrops on the along the water there. To get down here, though, you need four-wheel drive, and there's really only a place for about two cars to park. So the best place is to just, you know, park up there and just do a five-minute walk. It's easy walk. It's fine. It's totally fun. I'm really hungry now, so let's go get some breakfast. Everybody enjoy the hot spring? Yeah, that's how we start a day. Yeah, that's how we do it. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Everybody already knows Michelle from this video here. I'd like to introduce my friend Ray. So I've actually already known Ray for what? Three, four years now? About three, four years, yeah. Now Ray used to be known as Ray who jumped off the elephant's trunk. <laughs> yes, I am. But now he's known as Ray who crashed my car. But that was already like what? Two years ago? Two years ago, I crashed this beautiful car. Accidents happen. I'm not angry about it. It didn't bother me at all. No, I'm just kidding. But I feel like it's already been two years. I feel like it's time that I stop calling you Ray who crashed my car. And, and I hope that on this trip, we can find you a new name. Nice. Ray who broke my camera. Ray who, what are you gonna do this trip? Uh, let's see what happened. You didn't break anything yet, but there's still time, right? Oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh my God. So the first stop we're gonna go to is Luya. We're gonna go there and get some cool food and do some activities. We're actually invited there by the Gigi Kajampu. They want to promote this area, which is quite cool because we actually, quite a lot of fun things to do in Luya. When I drive around the island, I always go to this part of Taidong, like from Luya all the way up, like, you know, Guangxian, Zhishan, and, you know, really often I'm, I'm here camping, go to hot springs, waterfalls, and also do, like, the paragliding here. But first, we really gotta get some zombies. Yeah. 
Ed, Cam, Pam, and Sally. That thing is still my favorite. So I just learned something new here. What are these called, Ray? It's called Rosella. Wow, it's like hard. I didn't expect it to be hard. So I've never seen these on plant before. I've only had them like tea and stuff. This looks pretty cool. Wow. Wow, they like open up like this. I didn't even know that. So now we're just had uh, breakfast. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, Long Chuan Water Bowl. Actually, there was a typhoon two days ago, so the rivers are super flooded. Long Chuan Water Bowl, it's like uh, coming in from the side river. So I think that even after a typhoon, it should be really nice because it won't be like the main flooded river. I always like to kind of like make a point and stop at some of like the, the shops and the restaurants here. I grew up in like a really rural area. Most of the places in the countryside, like say the hardware store, the grocery store, like the you know, place on the corner, they're all done by family who's had that business for a really long time. But then kind of what happened later is that we had really big companies like Walmart come. They're like a giant store that sells everything. And it's like almost impossible to compete with them on price. That's like my grandpa, my grandpa had a, like a camera store. The shop around the corner. <laughs> he knows everything about cameras. He gives like the best service, all these things. People would come to him, they go to his store, they'd, they'd learn everything they need to learn. We sell some very nice things. And then they'd go somewhere else to buy it. It's actually his store went out of business. But I think that since then, there's sort of been this like turnaround in the United States where people realize that this is happening and they really try to focus on this small business, like the family local business. You know, these giant companies, they don't actually support that many jobs. And the jobs are not very high paying. See, my brother, he's a farmer. He grows local flowers, he supplies it to like the local forest. This is blood flower. The annual milkweed plant in the milkweed family from South America. It's not native to Taiwan, it's native to South America. Look at this guy. There's like a strong community awareness that when the local companies are doing better, like everybody's doing better. People like go out of their way to like purchase local food locally grown stuff, locally grown flowers or food or vegetables. Actually, his farm's doing quite well, even though like the majority of flowers come from South America. In farms that are like 100 square kilometers, it's just one farm. There's no way like it can compete the price, but there's like this desire to use locally grown stuff. His farm's still doing pretty well. And so that's why I like, whenever I come out here to the countryside, I always make a point, like, you know, stop somewhere, eat something local, buy something local. We come out here, we, we enjoy so much. So, you know, I always think it's like a good point to try to like support the local community as well. So that's what we're gonna go do. Let's go get some uh, some nice tea, locally grown tea with uh, locally sourced milk. Probably we will get the Rosella as well. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, would, I would love to draw, uh, try the local Rosella in this area. It's probably the best, right? How much more fresh can you get? Guanshan is a cozy town located along Bei Nan River. It's a central hub for rice production and also a base camp for hikers heading up the Southern Cross Highway. The population peaked in the 70s and has been decreasing since then. Modern agriculture requires fewer hands to cultivate the same land, and so there are fewer jobs out in the countryside than there used to be. It's not much different than the place that I grew up in. These small towns have a lot to offer though, and tourism creates new opportunities for rural communities. It's important to stop, spend some time, and spend some money in these small towns. Don't just pass through on your way to somewhere else, because you never know what you might miss. Now we're going to buy that Chinese tea and Chinese tea. Oh sh**. In my videos, this is like the fourth time I've called milk butter. Mijo cafe nayo. Mi ka nai. I think yeah. it's just because I love butter so much. I must be French. So now we're in Guanshan. That's the Guantan train station. I kind of always stop in Guanshan on my Guangzhou. It's actually the, the first place north of Taidong where they have the Jashui Jian. I have like a 40 liter water tank in my car. And also there's like a laundromat here. So oftentimes I'll come to Guanshan, I'll fill up my water. You know, like I'll, I'll wash some clothes. Typically, I don't have that many clothes. Yeah, you know, I try to just wear the same ones every day, kind of like and go swimming, but you know, sometimes it, it still runs out. With the car, it's much, much easier. But before, when I used to wind down the scooter all the time, this would be my, oh, we're in Guanshan, time to do laundry <laughs> kind of place. <laughs> I'm camouflaged, now you don't see me.
，或者要个肉丝咸甜。Uh, the best rosella I ever tried in Taiwan so far, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that's my favorite. That's my drink. <laughs> this is super exciting. I parked here and without even noticing it, this is a mulberry tree. So this is one of my favorite berries. I never really saw them for sale in Taiwan, but they definitely grow here. And there's a river near here called like Mulberry River. When I was a kid, there was one of these trees in the little neighborhood where I grew up and we used to climb it. It would just ruin all of our clothes because it just stains it like really, really dark purple. It was so good. This this tree right here, it brings back a lot of memories. We have Toto too. No, it's fine. It's the train station. So it's public mulberry trees. Is it right, ma? Yeah. Ah, what yeah, what yeah, what yeah. Really good. Wow, we're super lucky we got to see the rice harvest. That was my first time seeing that. We have that like, machine that goes around and cuts it and separates the shaft from the rice. Pretty cool. Actually, this is where all the you know, really delicious rice comes from in Taiwan. So now let's go to Chishang. Hey, what's that place we like? Remember we always go to the place? Oh, yeah, yeah, because Takoizo has this piece of meat, isn't it? Yeah, so we went to like this Vietnam place with him and we're like, damn, hey, this tastes good, what's your secret? And she's like, the rice. So now we're gonna go there and get, uh, get the rice. Let's go to waterfall. Going to Long Chuan Pu Pu. Yeah. Country people. Nice local people. No, man, it's country people. Then you, everybody in the countryside is super friendly. I know, because I'm from the countryside and I'm friendly. I'm All from the right. capital. I'm friendly as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the turn. This place is really cool. It has yeah. been a long time since I'm here. You can see it's so high up there. It's coming all the way down. It's like 200 meter waterfall. You can like hike way up on the top or you can be lazy like we are and just have a super nice, easy, enjoyable day where you come in from the bottom and there's like a nice pool to swim in. If you want to, you can climb up through the forest to the second tier, which is kind of quite large. <laughs> Giants piss. I love these stories. Yeah, we went to this waterfall, scooter uh -huh. ran out of gas, and we're like pushing it through a rice field. And we just stopped at some like farm. And we're like, hey, can you help us out? And he's like, Joe or Joe. Yeah, and then he gave us like a few liters of gas, and uh, we made it out. You offer some dollar and eat. No, they wouldn't take us. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow, that's such amazing country people. Check out this road. Yeah. I thought I was gonna be river tracing, but looks like there's actually a really nice path. I remember last time we were like hacking through the through the bushes and it was like really difficult. And now it's kind of super easy. Wow, look at this. There's like a there's like a path straight to the waterfall. That is cool. I'm really happy to see that you know people have been coming here and people have been having a good time. So there there's landslide. This came down and it blocked the river there and it created a landslide lake. That landslide lake was actually the real reason I came here the first time, not the waterfall. We walked, hiked up there only to find that of course it was gone because we were about four years too late. Uh, but then we hiked up here to the waterfall and we saw there's like a really cool pool and a really nice second pool. Uh, so that's where we're going now. Let's go up this way. Let's go. She's an explorer. Woohoo! 
Now nice, this will be interesting. This looks slippery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not so slippery. I thought it was going to be more slippery than it was. How was the water, Kelpie? Yeah. Not quite as warm as this morning, but uh, quite refreshing. Let's go follow him. Holy crap, he made it. I got a new name for uh, Ray. Ray who does things the hard way. That was really cool, it was completely unnecessary. There's actually another path up here uh, where you can just go up. So I'm gonna take the easy way because uh, I'm Chauffe who does things the easy way. Ray, he does things the hard way. So I remember last time, there actually was only a very small pool here. Let's see if anything's changed. It's a hitchhiker, by the way. We picked her up on the side of the street. Yeah, sad. <laughs> Big I don't really want to go in, but everybody else went in. All right, all right, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> How was the water, Kelfi? Perfect. It's too hot. All right, that was fantastic. This is what I love so much about this time of year. It is good for waterfalls and it's good for hot springs. So it is great. Although after playing in this one uh, for a while, I uh, got a little bit cold. But now it's getting dark and I think it's time to head back down to the train station. water feels so refreshing. Yeah, I feel good. I always, I always feel good after a swim. Uh -huh. What are we gonna do next? You hungry? I'm okay. You guys didn't see it. He just ate a bien dong in like, <laughs> in like 12 seconds. I wanted to film it, but it was just like 12 seconds later and it was gone. I still have some rooms. I have five stomach. Like a cow. <laughs> oh, it's really hot. Anybody want ice cream? It's yeah. different stomach. <laughs> I really like it out here. I'm definitely a country person. That's also why I think that we gotta like do our best to sort of preserve this kind of a country lifestyle. Support your local businesses. When you go out in the countryside, make sure you, you stop, like stop on the roadside, buy fruit from the farmer, go to like the local restaurant, the local night market, see some like arts and crafts to pick those up. I'm gonna go back into the Shishunk town now and find something nice. There's actually really a lot of cool stores there. Now we're headed back to Shishunk to get our dinner. It's a good thing we have Hungry Boy Ray with us. His big belly is an integral part of the local economy. When you eat at a local restaurant, you're not just supporting the restaurateur. Buying local means that you're also supporting the rice farmer, the chicken farmer, the farm supply store, the tractor repair store, the logistics guys, and yourself. Because local ingredients are always fresh, and fresh is delicious. So big hand to Ray for eating six meals in one day. Hey, what? You guys want juice? This is Xian Jiang Ni Mozu. First inquiry. No, I'll buy I will. No, I will. I don't have a tongue. We will see because Swan Swan the rim. It's really good, but watch watch this. Oh my god, this is really good. So up here, there's a restaurant called Classic Movie Restaurant, which I don't know what it means, but it sounds really interesting, so I'm, I'm gonna go check it out. After the water flow, I just want something hot. <laughs> I'm about half done and I've been eating super fast. Ray just smashed his. I still need to eat something in the train though. So it's because Ray, Ray wants to get a six pack back, so he's eating a lot. So I don't know how long we'll be calling you Ray who does things the hard way. Maybe soon we'll call you six pack Ray. <laughs> or if you screw it up, we'll just call you fat Ray. Oh yeah, there's two options here. He's eating a lot. Let's see if he exercises enough. Let's find out next year. Right. 
Okay. Okay, you're being done. Okay, we're going to buy this. Yeah, and coffee. I like the coffee. You already bought it? I already bought the lemon tree. All right. That was so much fun. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much sir. for bringing me around. Ray, who does things the hard way. Soon you'll be yeah. six pack Ray, or maybe he'll be fat Ray. We'll, fat. we'll, we'll find out. Thank oh. you for my late night snack. I'm gonna guess fat Ray. All right, bring it in, bring it in. See Thanks so much time. for watching, guys. That is the end of our video. We had a great time in the Taitung Rift Valley. I hope that you have a good time here too. There's so many waterfalls and hot springs and fun places to visit. Remember, whenever you come here, to stop and support the local businesses, buy something to eat, go to a craft store, just have a good time. Thank you so much. Bye. See you next time. See you next time. I let Ray borrow my sandals this trip, but after I got home, I realized they were missing. So now he's going to be known as Ray who stole my shoes.